Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and I'm gonna do a quick meal for you guys today. A uh, little local shop, Cedar Lodge out of Thomasville. They had pork chops, uh, thick cut on sale for $1.89 a pound. I said, you know what? That is for us and our family tonight. So, we're gonna do some uh, little simple pork chops. I got them seasoned up with some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of lemon zest, uh, a little bit of sugar. Also, coming up soon, I'm going to be running a series of videos about seasonings, about what do I do. Sometimes I do different things, but a lot of my go-to seasonings for chicken, pork, and beef. So check back on my channel to see about those videos. So what we got today is we got those pork chops we got at the little local market. I have some onions, some zucchini, and some squash that I'm going to just saute off. I have some rice going in the house on the stove, so we're gonna couple that zucchini, uh, squash, and onions on that rice. It's gonna be some kind of good. So, some good groceries, y'all, I'm gonna tell you. So, check back. We're gonna about to put this on the Blackstone. It's gonna go quick. Check it back. All right, y'all, here's our ingredients. We got our zucchini, squash, and onions, some scallions, I'm gonna put that on the zucchini and the squash afterwards, and also I'm gonna put it in the butter sauce for the pork chops after they're done. Here's a little bit more seasoning that I had for the pork chops, and the star of the show, some pork chops. Beautiful pork chops. All right, so let's uh, squirt a little bit of olive oil down. Okay. First, these are pretty thick pork chops. So I got my heat, about medium heat. I uh, don't want to go real hard heat first. Uh, I just want to cook them at a good little pace here. Add our squash. Squash and zucchini. Back over here. Add a little salt and pepper to the squash and zucchini. Put a lid on those. All right, it's time to flip our pork chops. Oh yeah. Looking good. Pork chops looking good. About to have a thunderstorm here. I don't know if you can hear the, the thunder. And the thunder rolls. And the thunder rolls. Little Garth impression there. I will not charge you one bit for it though. Because I'm just a nice guy. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's chops. We're just letting we're letting them go just real, real easy. You see they're at 100 degrees right now. Yeah, 111. We're gonna pull those at about 145 degrees. If you notice, it is a little bit of color. A lot of that comes from the sugar. I put a little bit of sugar in that in that seasoning and that spice mix. Those have been on there for a couple minutes. There. They can stand for more on that side. Let's let them go on that side for a little bit longer. Okay. Two to three minutes more. Check our squash and zucchini. It's looking good. You're looking good, boy. 
Looking good. Phew, boy, there's clouds. We're about to get hit with a thunderstorm. Creeping up. Yeah, I'm right there. Push that one up. That one up there, it's wanting to start, it's wanting to finish before the rest of them. I'll put that up on that side right there, and it allows that fat to render off. Make it oh so good. Oh so good. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Put the cover over them poke chops. Hurry them up a little bit because they're so thick. Alright. Those go for another minute or so. Alright. Oh yeah, that hurried them up. There we go, good, perfect. About 150 degrees. And that's where we like it. Put that over on our board. Now, now you can kind of turn the blackstone off. Pork chops are done. Pork chops are lovely. Look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Bam! All right, now a little trick I like to do is take butter, just to add a little bit more flavor, some parsley, fresh parsley, these are scallions, okay. unsalted butter so I just like to melt that all nice get it all incorporated take this just drizzle that all over my pork a little bit more green onions and voila folks there you have it well guys there you have it these poke chops they're done it was under like 15 minutes, and that was with me talking and whatnot. It's pretty good. Just get the food on the table the quickest time possible. We're going to give these pork chops a try, y'all. I want to get a little piece of that, uh, a little piece of that fat around the edge of that pork chop. Oh, man, you see? Look at that juice. Oop. Mm. Mm, boy. Mm, some good groceries right there. Mmm. I'm gonna get a zucchini, I'm gonna get a squash, and then we'll get a onion. Mm. Still kind of crunchy, soft. Um, how do you explain squash? It's just awesome. So this is a great dish, great dish for any family. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, you can have it on the table in no time, especially with the Blackstone having so much room. So guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, comment below. You know, I'll answer you. Uh, I love interacting with all my people. So please feel, feel free to do so. I appreciate everyone's support as well over this uh, span of just a little bit over a year. We're over 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> my heart, my heart, my cup has run up over. I'm just a, I'm a blessed man, a blessed man. But y'all, I appreciate the support. I appreciate you guys commenting. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the emails. Just overwhelmed with love. So, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Got to feed the family. Until next time, y'all, Hunger Hussies, out. And get ready to have a thunderstorm. Peace.